Hello everyone, I am Vikramaditya here. Welcome to JH Softic and in this session I am going to discuss with you all the SAP basis overview and this is specifically for beginners who does not have any idea about basis and what is this module all about. So let's start with what is uh, basis. We all know that SAP stands for Systems, Applications and Products in Data Processing. It's an ERP solution. If at all, if you are not aware of ERP and SAP, you can look at the demo overview of SAP. And yeah, otherwise, uh, you can write in comments. I'll send you the link about what is ERP and what is SAP. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss only about basis. Now, what does SAP basis stand for? As we all know, SAP stands for Systems, Applications and Products in Data Processing and basis stands for Business Application Software Integrated Solution. I repeat, Business Application Software Integrated Solution. Now, what exactly is SAP basis? SAP, SAP basis is a technical module that enables SAP applications to function properly. It consists of middleware programs and tools that suppose support the interoperability and the probability of SAP applications across systems and databases. Now, what is SAP Basis? SAP Basis is essentially the system administration platform for SAP environments from SAP R3 through SAP S4 HANA as well. So the latest module is SAP S4 HANA 1909 and its purpose is to make sure that all SAP systems in the environment run smoothly and consistently. It also includes the installation of the software, the maintenance of the software, the login credentials, the security, all these things come under SAP basis widely. But again, SAP security has been considered as a separate module uh, in the recent times because SAP security has uh, has gained a lot of uh, significance in the recent times because everything is going cloud on cloud. Now, SAP basis refers to the administration of SAP system, just like we have uh, software networking administration in the similar uh, manner, we have SAP administration that is called SAP basis that includes activities like installation and configuration, load balancing, performance of SAP applications running on Java stack and SAP ABAP stack. So we have two stacks here, Java stack and SAP ABAP stack. Now SAP basis tasks making sure that all users have the proper access rights and can use the functions they need quickly installing and configuring all sap systems and applications applying all the licenses wherever it is required during the installation process and quick fixing the things that have been um, uh, you know uh, any issues which come uh, comes up in the in the in the period of uh, installation backing up and restoring data into some other external systems or some other backup, memory backup, tuning performance and troubleshooting problems, managing batch jobs, configuring SAP's transportation management system, managing transports, running and managing background jobs, installing and configuring printers and other devices, and setting up operational operation modes. Now this was a very short and simple SAP basis uh, overview. I'm going to give you more in detail if you if you need it. If you write in comments that you want uh, more about SAP basis, I'll be explaining you in the coming sessions. And uh, this is for every one of us to know uh, in SAP what exactly is each module all about. And also if you are looking out for administration part in SAP, this is one of the best career that we have. And I'll be writing more about this and uh, discussing about more about SAP basis and the SAP S4 HANA administration as well. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you if at all if you like our video, do subscribe to our channel youtube.com slash jsoftech and share this video with all your contacts. It might help them as well. Contact us at training at the jsoftech.com and jobs at the jsoftech.com if you are looking out for any kind of a, a jobs or training. These are our email IDs. Thank you. Have a great day.